Hello you wonderful wombats, welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here, hi my name is Melissa or Missa, welcome to my channel. Today I was not going to film and I was like I'm going to take a few days off, I'm just going to have a break because makeup is not working for me and then I think because I took all the pressure off once I did this eye, I was like, I really like this, I need to film it now. So I did. Um, we are going to be playing with my Carnival Tahiti and my XL Pro. I'm just going to mix them up and we're going to do this eye look here. I have not also done like a proper halo spotlight in the longest time. So Rebecca, I hope I made you proud. Um, yeah, this is the eye look we're going to do. Just the eyes because they take ages to be honest. <laughs> um, and I decided to kind of flip the colour schemes as around as well. So yeah, if you want to just get fun and fruity on a Tuesday night and fanny around with me, then please just keep on watching. I am going to prime with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm just going to wrap this all over and like all the way up here because this look does go like everywhere. I have my heating on. I'm just going to dim the lights a little. I feel like it might be ever so slightly too bright. Um, yeah, I've got my heating on for the first time <laughs> in a very long time. I'm so cold these days. I um, want to flip it. I've probably said that in the intro, but I'd quite like to do like dark blue on the inner corner and then pinks on the outer corner. I just think it'll be like a bit more kind of fun. I've also, I just put this lash on again because I was like, am I going to keep this makeup on or not? And I think I am because I'm filming, <laughs> obviously. Um, but I'll take that lash off when it comes to doing my base and stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to like put my thing down, flip it and reverse it, you know, just so that it looks a bit different so I am gonna take it's gonna be really annoying I'll just put like a picture up on screen of the shade I'm gonna take the shade the deep just because my palettes are like stacked on top of each other and just to f my desk is small I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner I'm keeping my eye open so that it's above my crease take that to about halfway right now though I'm just like placing my colors getting my shape, you know how I roll <laughs> and the the blending comes afterwards. Then I guess I'll go in with I'll go in with Blackberry. Again, this is from the Tahiti palette. This is actually one of my favourite shades from this Tahiti palette. It's just such a wonderful deep dark stunning purple. It literally makes my dreams come true. It stains so bad though. <laughs> like my eyes will just have little rings of pink when I wipe this makeup off. There we go. So everything is above my crease because my eyes are open so I can I can see that. And then what I did was I took Black Beach. I do think Black Beach is better than Lights Out which is the black in the Carnival 2. I did have the Carnival one. In fact, I've got a video up on my channel, probably a few videos up on my channel using that, but I got rid of it when I got my XL Pro because I thought I don't need both. There was repeat shades. Again, I am not blending right now. That is not the purpose of this point in time. I'm gonna have to grab a few new brushes and just start. Um, I think I'll take Fruity, which is the purple beside Blackberry. And this will go up here again. This is going to look messy AF until I'm done. Just don't panic. Keep an eye on the other eye. I have a very bad habit of not ever copying the exact same shape. I've been having such a hard time the past like, week with makeup. Like I've sat down so many occasions and just played and tried and played and tried and nothing's worked and like it's always looked rubbish and it's just been really like depressing so yesterday i'll carry on makeup while i talk yesterday i was like right that's fine melissa you get like this sometimes just take a few days off like just take a few days off filming you'll be fine i'm gonna go into funky from my carnival xl pro so i decided to take the days off and today i woke up and i did actually Melanie's 
a stretch and tone class as soon as I got up. I'll link it below if you want to do a bit of a yoga, a bit of stretching, good for the body, good for the mind. Um, I did that and then I actually ate breakfast which is weird because I never eat breakfast. And then sat on my bed, looked at my phone, just fannied around for a while. Now I thought I'm going to go do makeup on my own and not film it. And then I did a fairly decent makeup look. So that's why I'm now filming. Anyway, I'm going to pick up pep talk. Anyway, the moral of the story is just give yourself a break if you are finding you're in a creative rut and then you might find, like me, that inspiration just strikes or actually you are able to put good makeup on. It's by taking the pressure off, especially if you're like a content creator. Just take the pressure off and I bet you'll find that you can do something. Um, this is going quite like a pulled up shape. So that's kind of our bones of our look on. Uh, now we're going to start blending and making everything look good because right now it's looking like trash. So I'll go into Lagoon, which is our lighter blue in our Tahiti. And I'm going to start popping this on here. I also want to say thank you everyone again for all of the feedback on my video on Friday it would have been? Yeah it would have been Friday. Where I did like a get to know me, basically the history of Melissa in a video and I actually was up until the very last moment gonna just put that video on private and never put it up. Um, but I decided, you know what, just put it up and see what the feedback is. And it's just been so nice. So I'm really glad I did keep that video up. I use that same brush and dip into Soft Spot, which is from our XL Pro. Just on that same brush. I think I said that. Maybe I didn't. It was just very nice to hear, hear all the positive feedback on it. Because I thought, oh man, this is going to be boring. Like, who cares? You're a terrible storyteller you know but actually it was all fine i'm gonna use that same brush and go into showboat which is one of my favorite shades from this palette it's the xl pro one and i'm gonna kind of snuggle that in between here and then i might just try and pull yellow in i'm taking keen though which is an xl pro not yellow from the tahiti just because i actually prefer the tone of it i'll pop that at the front I like adding a wee pinch of yellow because yellow pretty much goes with everything. Like it goes with pinks and it goes with blues and that's what I'm using. So just popping a wee tiny bit at the front. And I actually put a little bit up here. Just kind of wanted to plug that gap on the other side and then I thought, oh, that looked quite nice and deliberate. This will get better. <laughs> you know me. Um, so I'll go back into Blackberry. But let me grab like a nicer fluffy ass brush and I'm gonna start blending this um it's just a very very pigmented shade and I do find it a little bit hard to blend you'll probably notice that as I go on but it's one of it's just got so much pigment and so much beauty behind it that I don't really mind having to work a bit harder with it yeah you can probably see like I am putting an effort here to blend and it's just not happening but that's okay I think we'll be able to fix it I'm gonna pick up wasted just on that same Jaclyn Hill brush and I'm gonna introduce that in here and I think that will help us a lot yeah 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 we can work with this also did you catch Sunday's video collab with Teresa and Elena we go through all the new makeup releases discounts, sneak peeks, Christmas stuff crept in, can't believe it. I'm actually quite upset about that, I'm not ready to start thinking about Christmas. Like who is, to be honest. I'm going to pick up Pink Lily, one of my favourite shades. It is such a beautiful pink. And it really is quite different from Funky in the XL Pro. 
I know this still looks like garbage, but I'm hoping you see the vision. <laughs> My artistic vision. Such an artist, you know? I need to stop going like, mmm, trying to blend my eyeshadow down here. Like, I actually prefer not being so zoomed in, but I think when you're doing a makeup tutorial, especially like when you're doing like quite big dramatic eyes, it just makes more sense to be so zoomed in, but at the same time, like, oh, zoom out, Melissa. Nobody wants to see you this close. What am I doing? I'm actually struggling quite a lot with this outer corner. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try, mm, right, I'm gonna try Grape from my Tahiti. Let's see if popping this in here helps me a little. I mean, I think it will be fine, but I can be a bit of a perfectionist and harsh lines really, really upset my happiness. <laughs> I'm definitely bringing this like lower than I need to, but I'm gonna clean it up. Like I cleaned this side up with a makeup wipe, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll go into Funky, wrong brush, but whatever, too late now. Can you tell I'm struggling? Like when you're watching this? Usually, I don't know. Like in a tutorial, I don't really talk about it if I'm really struggling, but my goodness, somebody help me here. I actually need to put in the shade Ecstasy over here somewhere. I might pop that down here and then add more yellow. I might just cut the crease now and then see where we are. But one last step, I'll go in with Black Beach, just on my like small blending brush. And just make sure it's kind of blended on this inner and outer corner. I kind of, I think I go back in and add a bit more black later on. I think I'm going to have to over here because that harsh line is really upsetting me. I took my, why did I put it back in my drawer? Revolution Ultima Eye Base. This is definitely... A great alternative to my ABH eye primer which you know I only use for cutting creases if you're a regular here I only use it for that and I've run out I do have a few mini ones but I'm just I was like saving them because it's so expensive and uh, yeah I found that this revolution one is such a great alternative and to do this this is the first time I've done this look in a long time in it just feels so strange. I'm gonna take a really nice precise brush, just wiping it off on my thing here. This is a brush I got on my Morphe James Charles set, um, and it's great. So I just kind of rest my hand on my face. Very attractive. Do we dot where I think? Looks good. And then just do a vague shape. It took me a wee while on the other eye. It's one of those things I spend a lot of time on. Just a case of like really making sure your eyes open and you're not holding up your brow. Checking it's all above. I do think this one's quite a bit higher. So I'm just gonna work on this. It's hard to talk because my hand like rests on my face. Okay, that seems pretty good. I'll grab just a bigger brush. Any brush will do and just fill this in. Please get this Makeup Revolution Primer rather than buying like the ABH or even the P. Louise. It does the same thing. In my experience, I've used it quite a few times now. Especially if you're like me and you don't really use those primers as an actual all over base, but just for like cutting your crease or something. They're, it's just great and it's a fiver. Also, just took a clean brush this one doesn't have a name, it's just a wee pencil brush. And I just smudge the edge 
where the primer meets my eyeshadow. And this is just going to help get a much more seamless blend. I chose my Barry M Glitter Fixer Gel for this for no other reason than I pulled it out my drawer before any other fixing gels. Where's a brush though? Oh, it's this one here. This is going to go all over my eyelid, as you can imagine. And my pigment is Sample Beauty Arctic, which you can see over here. It's got a lot of reflects in it, some pink, silver, blue, green, it's just gorgeous. Um, I do have a discount code with Sample Beauty. If you want to use it, it's down below. It's an affiliate link, so I do get some pennies. They have a lot of very, very beautiful pigments. And you get quite a lot for your money, and it comes in a nice like, glass jar. I just think they're lovely. Yeah, it reflects quite minty. It's absolutely stunning. I actually was going to use the Sean Maloney one, which is my favourite, but I needed to let some of the other pigments have their time in the in the spotlight. That's stunning. Let me no, turn down the light a bit. So gorgeous, right? Popping that on. You always want to do your base after. If you're going to use a pigment, my goodness, it's a messy job. Someone's got to do it, eh? And it's stunning. Right? Oh, right. I am going to grab Pep Talk from my XL Pro and I'm going to pat, pat it. Do not swipe it. You want to pat it. I have spoken. <laughs> and then I'll take Pink Lily, same brush, pat that on as well. This process probably takes the longest, just because you want to really spend a while blending and just making sure it looks great. And then I'll take Grape. I'll take some Blackberry. And black beach, just doing all of this on the same brush. And then I might just kind of rub it on my dressing gown. Pat over that. Okay. And then on the other side, I'm going to take soft spot, which we, I mean, I'm using that same brush, by the way. Um, we used that a little bit on the other eye. Pat that here. That just fades so beautifully. Uh, then Lagoon. Like doing it into the blue is so easy, I think, because of the colour of the pigment. And then I'll take the deep, which makes me think of um, the boys on on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Trace Crawford, so beautiful. And then a little bit of black. Rubbing that on my dressing gown, can you hear it? <laughs> and it just pat again. And then what I did was take my ABH liner and just did a thick-ish line that tapered in on both sides. Just because I knew I wanted to wear very dramatic lashes and having liner there is just always going to help. You can literally stick them on badly and it doesn't matter, you can't tell. It's a lazy man's fix. Uh, do you know what that'll do for now? <laughs> you can't even really see it when I've got this lash on. Big lash, right? Ah, 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 ooh. So I think, like looking at the other eye, I can really deepen up this outer corner. I'll probably do this like semi-silently. Let's start off with Black Beach. 
And then once I get to all my purples and pinks, I'll probably just like do it silently. Yeah, I just think looking at the other side, I do have a bit more depth showing. So I'd quite like to add that over here. I just love these palettes with my whole heart. <laughs> Might just go on to my lower lash line just now, actually. Just because I want to. I'll just grab a bit more pink pot. Oh, I need to put the lid on my pigment because whenever I have them out, I always like nudge them with my elbow and then it's a disaster. Let me find a wee brush. I'll grab the deep, which is our deep blue matte. And I just Plunk that at the front here. And then I'll grab Blackberry. Meet them up in the middle. I actually did my other lower lash line quite differently and then covered it up because I wasn't happy with it. And then I'll just use that same brush and I'll grab Lagoon. Just to blend under here a pinch. Same brush. I'll take magenta this time and just making this up as I go along as you can tell. And then what I did because I do put on lower lashes again because I got a, such a lovely package from Tatty Lashes. I'm using my Huda liner all the way along and I'm going to put thick line of that like underneath as well I really don't like this liner for the liquid side but the pencil side I find very handy which is why I've kept it around for so long and then I'll just take a wee bit more black beach just on that unnamed pencil brush I had from earlier it still looks really bad, but I think it'll get better. What I did for under the brow, oh, I'm going to open my pigment again. Took a wee bit more of that Barry M glitter glue, it's just sitting out on my desk. Wow, this brush has a weird name. You'll see it on the screen. Put a bit of the glue under the brow. And then a wee bit of my pigment on. And I can blend around that in a pinch. I actually should have done this once I got my brow on, but anyway, whatever. And I took a little bit more glitter glue on the very inner corner and just plonked a wee bit in there. I'm gonna go throw my brow on and just kind of tidy up a little bit, see what I wanna do, and then we'll put our lashes on together. Um, maybe I'll come back actually when my base is on and then we'll do lashes because that'll be easier. Like I'll need to take this one off anyway for doing my base. So yeah, I'll put brow, base and stuff on and then we'll come back and see. But I think, I mean, it's pretty much there. I just need to work on my blending a little bit um, on this outer corner, which looks shocking, but we'll manage. Give me, give me a few. For you, a second. For me, probably about three hours. So my eyelashes are the Tati TL2 lashes. They're just very big and dramatic and I just, to be honest, really love them. Obviously I'm putting on my lash glue along my lash line. Works for me the best. Um, I then, I then try to put on my lower lashes. They are Vibe Check, again by Tati Lashes. They sent me a big parcel of lashes recently, which is why I've been using them quite a lot. And applying them is fine but I did a really bad job and when I tried to fix it off camera I wasn't able to and so I end up actually just removing my lashes my lower lashes but I think it looks fine like just with the top lashes it's whatever doesn't make that big of a difference but yeah um just ignore the the lower lashes to be honest because they end up coming off um such as life doesn't matter though does it
in the grand scheme of things. So I have finished off all my makeup and the hair is, it's actually grey because it's got so much dry shampoo in it. So just ignore it. Got the hoops in. I have to say I am like really pleased with how this eye look came out. I was kind of worried especially when I took off my lower lashes and I was like oh it's not working but actually I think it looks quite nice. Overall that arctic pigment is literally stunning. I just sent a picture of this makeup to my WhatsApp um, Patreon group and apparently the arctic pigment is sold out everywhere right now so I'm sorry about that but hopefully when it comes back in stock you can grab it. Um, yeah I'm so pleased with this makeup. To be honest, I'm just happy I was able to do something like fairly decent. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Tell me what palette you want me to play with next. That would be nice. I have so many, like I'm just looking at them and it stresses me out how many there is. I think I need to do the P. Louise Worldy video soon though, right? So yeah, anyway, that is gonna be all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, why not? I grace your screens three times a week and to be honest you'd be crazy not to subscribe. <laughs> so yeah, have a lovely Tuesday evening or whatever day you end up watching this on. I'm gonna piss off and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!